secrets of the moon will be revealed right here right now today i bring you five secrets and tips to help you out how's it going guys my name is dpj and i'd like to thank you for stopping by and checking out the video if you do enjoy it leaving a like truly helps out and subscribe if you want to see more destiny 2 videos okay so the moon being a new destination for shadow keep it was going to be pretty obvious it would be hold secrets today i bring you a few which you may be slightly puzzled by as I know it's early days yet, and not many of us UK folks have had much time on the game due to last night being a complete flop by Bungie, so a lot of these tips may come in handy for you. Okay, so wondering about the moon is a yellow bar knight called the Trove Guardian. Now this Trove Guardian I killed a few times before realising there was actually a secret chest for killing this dude. What happens when you kill him is a chest will spawn at the end of a secret path which only appears upon you getting close to it. As you can see on the screen now I kill the Trove Guardian and locate a path which takes me to a hidden chest. Now although the chest and its loot are random, even blues in these early days help you with power level. So you may as well get these while you can and you are still leveling up. Okay, so there's also chests all over the moon which appear to be locked upon first sight, so that's because they are. What you have to do is locate the symbols you can see glowing on the chest, and you must shoot these symbols in order they appear on the chest from left to right. The symbols from my experiences are always located right nearby, so they shouldn't be hard to discover. So find the symbols, shoot them in order, and get that loot. Again, random loot from these chests, but blues in these early days still help out. Okay, so next up are what seems to be Jade Rabbit statues hiding all over the moon. One is below Eris Morn, I believe. I'm not sure you can interact with that one. There's one you see me locate on the screen now at the top of this building. And there are no doubt others hiding around. These, like the kitty statues on the Dreaming City, they require you to find a certain item to interact with them. So the item you need to look out for is called a rice cake. And these I've seen drop from various places on the moon, including that symbol chest we just talked about. Rewards it seems for feeding these statues are anything from rares to phantasmal fragments. So yeah, people keep an eye out for these statues. Okay, so next up we have the unstable essence. What does this do? Well, for killing a nightmare enemy, they drop a weird solar ball. Running into one, you are given an unstable essence. This 15 second buff allows you to do extra damage to any nightmare enemy. So keep that in mind when you are struggling. And 
guys, near Eris Mon, you can put down raid banners which helps everybody out in the area and literally can all take advantage of it. These cost Phantasmal Fragments at a cost of 5. Now I haven't seen many people speak about these so I thought I'd add it as a nice little tip. So yeah guys, 5 tips to help you out on the moon, secret chests, hidden rabbits and more. And on that note, we have come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Destiny videos, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.